Big Ed here, and uh, today we have the Wyatt detachable magazine system. This is uh, designed for the Remington 700 uh, short action. So this will fit a uh, 308, 223, 708, um, I believe the 260, and there's a couple others that you know I don't know if it, I forget off the top of my head that this will fit, <clears throat> but those are the most popular ones. Uh, so it's basically, it looks like a piece of billet aluminum. Uh, it's a single stack magazine right here plastic follower. Um, pretty simple and it was not inexpensive. This is $250 and the reason I decided to go with this one was it did not need modification to go in the HS Precision stock. <clears throat> this is a direct drop-in uh, unit right here and because it is single stack you know it, that's the reason why because they, you know the Badger ones, some of the AI ones are double stack but you're gonna have to relieve the inlet of the stock and that's going to cost big bucks you know and you can spend a couple hundred dollars paying a gunsmith to relieve the stock those are kind of the quotes i got plus we're a little more expensive than this the ais i looked at the accuracy international started at about 325 and this was 250 so and this is a direct drop and i already have dropped it in the hs precision stock and it does fit for the m24 you know sniper rifle um <clears throat> and this is the magazine release right here and that works pretty well you know, it's definitely something you're going to need leverage on. You know, you want to push it forward, that little nub right there. But you can see it definitely ejects the magazine. And also, if you look carefully, you can see that little spring as you push in the magazine. You know, that puts a little tension on it to eject the magazine out when you hit that detach. You know, so it's definitely some people want to use these in competition. Basically, I wanted something a little easier to load the, uh, the Remington 700 because I have... The, uh, the scope base up on the top here, you know, to get the 308, 308 rounds in there a little easier uh, <clears throat> instead of fighting them through there. But it's definitely a high quality piece. Um, looks nice. I'm happy with it. Real cleanly machine. But again, not cheap. But, you know, you will save money on this unit and also the um, installation because you don't have to mill the stock out. And then the magazine too. These, this is a five round magazine right here plastic follower you can see it's got a W on the bottom for Wyatt um, and they also make 10 rounders right here and the 10 rounders I believe are 65 and these are 55 so they're not that cheap for these magazines right here but that's just because there's not a large demand for this but it looks like a very cool piece and uh, you know check out my re review for the full 700 custom rifle that this is going on right now that I'm going to probably post in the next week or two <clears throat> and uh, you know, make it a good one. It'll be the complete rifle after all the modifications I've done to it. And uh, and then we'll see how these work. Because I'm going to have, installing this, you're going to have to pay attention to installing it. Because you want to make sure you get the right height. You know, it did come with a couple shims. Basically, in the package, it just came with the directions. And two little plastic shims. Because you're going to have to make sure you get this in the right height in the stock. Hopefully, it'll, you know, be pretty good right off the bat. You know, so the bolt will pick up the rounds and be able to feed them easily. You know, and then you get a good alignment there. Another quick note here with this uh, Accuracy International magazine right here. They call it a five round magazine. Uh, I believe it's a six. I just pushed six rounds down in here. Where's the first one? There's a little sleeve I'm going to put them in. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, six rounds out of a five-round magazine. That's pretty cool. So six plus one, Remington 700. This is liking it more and more. But thanks for watching, folks. Check out my other videos. And if you like this video, you know, don't be afraid to hit like. And you know, I'd love to get your subscription. Thanks for watching.